What is up, everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. This is Searching for Hits with Eric, and I am Eric. Today, we are going to do a face-off Friday. Um, it is almost Friday, Thanksgiving evening, um, and I happen to uh, to be in a uh, in a 24-hour Walgreens uh, in a different town, a few towns over, and they had tons of cards, um, all kinds of different cards. They had a selection of baseball, they had basketball, football, uh, they had some hockey, they had some Pokemon. Um, it was it was pretty crazy. Um, I picked a few blaster boxes up just because I, I mean, I've seen Heritage, I've seen Update once or twice, I've never seen Bowman anywhere near, near me. Um, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a face-off. Three Tops products. They were all about the same price, give or take a dollar or two. And uh, and see which one gives us the best value. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Love to have you along for more videos as I continue to post and grow the channel. Uh, thank you to those who have subscribed. And uh, leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think is the best box of the video. Um, I am going to go ahead and pick Update to win with all the rookies. And I'm hoping to find something cool in there. Um, I'd love to find at least one hit out of these besides the manufactured relic. Uh, Bowman's got a good shot at giving some good cards, looking for Ellie De La Cruz, Khalil Watson, and the like. Um, but I'm going to say number one, number two, and number three. Uh, we'll put the, the best cards aside and see what we can find. We'll start with Heritage, which I do pick to be in third place. I'll show you the odds once I get the plastic off. We'll cut it open across the top. Nice and easy. Hope everyone had a great turkey day. Had some good food and good friends and family. There you go if you want to freeze it and take a look. Feel free. 2022 Tops Heritage. Looking for those real one autographs. Got lucky in these, found a couple of, of hits. So let's see what we can find. First pack up. We got your stolen base leaders from the National League and the American League, Trey Turner and Whit Merrifield. Uh, Vidal Bruhan, rookie, Locaine. Patrick Wisdom, Gold Cup card. Kyle Muller, Salvi Perez. We have an upside down <clears throat> all time total base leaders. That's a Hank Aaron short print. So that's pretty cool. We'll certainly put that aside. Luis Robert and Tristan McKenzie. Uh, I'll put the rookies aside as well, just in case we have a rough box. Pack number two. I would anticipate that Hank Aaron short print making the top five for sure. Shohei Otani. Logan Gilbert. Gavin Lux. Mike Miner. Randy Rosarena stealing home. Alfonso Rivas, rookie. We got a New Age performers of Dylan Carlson. Alex Dickerson and David Fletcher. So throw the rookie aside. <clears throat> Onward to pack number three. Charlie Blackman. DJ Stewart. Tim Anderson. Ryan McMahon. Nice. Action shot, throwing across the diamond. Chris Bassett. Austin Hayes. There's Aaron Judge. We'll put him aside, given the year he had. And Anthony Alford. Next pack up. We got Jerickson Profar. Michael Conforto. Still looking for a job. Bob Bradley. Dustin Garneau. We got 
saves leaders from 2021, Mark Melanson and Liam Hendricks. Cal Raleigh's a good rookie. We'll put that aside. We also have a short print of Travis Shaw. Not as cool, but we'll put it aside because it is a short print. Colton Wong and Tyler O'Neill. Next pack up. We got Lance Lynn on top, Gary Sanchez, Ryan Jeffers, there's Jeff McNeil, Squirrel, one of my favorite Mets, Fran Mill Reyes, Buster Posey, <coughs> who's now retired. We got a George Steinbrenner flashback to when he purchased the Yankees, Dylan Carlson and Jake Freely. Throw that card aside for my cousin Joe, big Yankee fan. Not sure how much of a Steinberg fan he is anymore, but. Rowdy Telez, Yandi Diaz, Matt Chapman. Hoping to find something uh, grade worthy, actually, as I'm going to be meeting my cousin Joe from Card Flippers and a couple of other family members. We're going to be doing a nice big PSA submission, so we're having our own <coughs> our own family. Baseball or Sports Card Summit. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, we have your home run leaders from 2021. Vladdy, Tatis, and Perez. There's Hoy Park. Actually pulled his autograph the other day from a pack. Lucas Giolito and Gio Urshela. If you haven't seen that video, I opened up an awesome box mystery box from eBay and it was it was pretty cool I think I ended up with five hits uh, great value so check that video out if you haven't seen it Tucker Barnhart Zach Grinky Odell Herrera Trent Grisham Elvis Andrews Jordan Got another short print it is Ronaldo Lopez. So we got three short prints in a blaster. It's, it's not too bad. Robbie Ray and Nick Madrigal. <clears throat> and our final pack of Heritage. Three short prints, but that's about it. Hoping for some last pack magic. Bottom card is dinged here. It's Kevin Biggio. Zach Wheeler. Adrian Hauser, Mike Soroka, Josh Rojas, Sandy Alcantara, that's your Cy Young Award winner, Griffin Jacks, got a Jaron Duran, New Age Performers, Dalton Varsho, and that Gavin Biggio. So, really nothing too crazy in this box at all. Um, I did predict it to be third, and I still believe that that's what's going to happen. But... Let's see where we will go. Um, I'm going to go with the Hank Aaron short print, I think, as the top card. Um, kind of tough to say. Um, not much going on here. And you can feel free to disagree if you want, but um, it's really negligible at this point. Uh, not the best box, not the best value. So that's where we're going to say our top five cards are. The three short prints, Jaron Duran and Cal Raleigh. So um, I would anticipate this coming in a distant third. So I'll put those aside there for now. Let's move on to Bowman, <coughs> Excuse me, which I think is going to give us a much better value take the packaging off the plastic i'll show you the odds there we go haven't opened bowman in a while let's see what we can find in our bowman blaster box we are going to get a total of, I forgot how many packs are coming to Bowman. Uh, six packs per box, 12 cards per pack. And there they are.
<clears throat> All right. First pack up of 2022 Bowman. Thanks again for watching. Just a reminder, make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leading off is going to be Josh Lau. Nice rookie. Nelson Cruz, Max Scherzer. You got your veterans and rookies on top. Josh Donaldson and Jared Kelnick. We have a rookie of the year favorites, Jake Berger in the middle. Now we got our Prospects, Jose Ramos first, Diego Rincones, Daryl Hernandez, Jose Ramos in the chrome, that's his first, and Brandon Valenzuela. So, nothing too, too crazy. We'll put my veterans aside. Next pack up. I'd love to find a parallel of one of the big time prospects. Um, would certainly love to find a hit in one of these two remaining boxes. Colton Welker is leading this one off. Jose Ramirez, very underrated player, um, despite being a phenomenal player, I feel. Jazz Chisholm, Jorge Soler, Cattell Marte. And we have a Vir uh, Virtuosic Vibrations. Benny Montgomery, Benny Bombs. I like that card. Insert. Benny Montgomery, top prospect. We got Justice Thompson, Martin Jimenez, Hendry Mendez, and our Chrome is going to be Luke Waddle, first, and Adley Rushman, former first, uh, first round pick. Pack number three out of six. Garrett Cole, ace for the Yankees on top. Jose Barrero. Freddie Freeman still in his Braves uni. If you haven't seen the back of the Bowman cards from 2022, pretty standard Bowman design. Juan Soto, still in his Nats uni. Marcus Semien, Seth Beer rookie. We have a Robert Hassel. That's a nice insert, Robert Hassel, first round pick. Nice prospect. And here's our prospect cards. Maki Backstrom, Samad Taylor, Josh Baez. We got Anthony Rodriguez Chrome and Fidel Montero Chrome. So I like getting those position players in the first Bowman cards. Typically hold more value. Still looking for our first, uh, our first numbered parallel, even, let alone a hit. Sort of cold boxes so far. Jordan Alvarez, there's Jaron Duran. Kyle Muller, Spencer Strider is a good one. That'll end up in my top five, I would assume. Shohei Otani, J.D. Martinez, and we have an Aaron Judge blue parallel out of 125, and it's a number match, 99 out of 125. That's actually pretty sick and will most likely be certainly the best card of this box, maybe the best card of this video. Struggle City. I can't do it from far away. A little tough with the arms extended, but there's that Aaron Judge out of 125. Nice blue parallel. We'll put that right in our top spot, and I'm actually going to throw that Spencer Strider in a sleeve while I'm, while I'm sleeving cards up. Spencer Strider, certainly top rookie this year. All right, let's see what else we have. We have Jay Allen, who's a really nice prospect. Jordan Lawler, another nice prospect. Rose, Roismar Quintana. And we got Jack Swinke, uh, Sawinski, first Bowman. And Marco Luciano Chrome. So 
Really nice pack. That Sawinski's probably going to be top five. Got a ton of power. All right, two more packs to go. That Judge, nice card. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a $20, $30 dollar card. I don't know. I got to look for comps, but it's kind of tough because it's a number match, too, which is really cool. Uh, Brendan Marsh, Jake Berger, Jesse Winker, Javi Baez, Nick Madrigal, and Matt Chapman. We have a Benny Montgomery, High Five Futures, so another Benny Bombs insert. Cool stuff. Luca Tresh first. Pedro Leon. Diego Velasquez. And our Chromes are going to be Adrian Sugaste. And we have a numbered first of Joshua Baez. That's going to be a, uh, a, a Ray Wave. It's numbered out of 399. So all of a sudden, the Bowman box is coming alive. A nice first position player. Let me do this over here so I don't ding a corner of this card. There we go. And Joshua Baez drafted... 54th overall, so he's a number, a uh, second round pick. Nice stuff. We'll take that for sure. And we'll put these in my rookies and prospects pile. All right. Final pack of Bowman. Great, great couple of packs there. Let's see how we finish off the box. There's Francisco Lindor, Joey Gallo. Jose Altuve, Charlie Blackman, Bobby Dahlbeck, and Adolis Garcia. We have a Marcelo Mayer prospect card, top 100. Marcelo Mayer, a lot of a lot of Red Sox fans are high on him. <coughs> Sedane Rafaela. Edward Perez is a good prospect. Luis Gonzalez, Eddie's Leonard. And Marco Luciano once again. So, not too shabby. Um, I am going to stand by my original call and keep that Aaron Judge as my number one. That's going to be my number two card. And then... I'm going to go with Jack Sawinski. Spencer Strider is going to make it. And we'll take one of the Benny Bombs. Um, I don't know which one is. If either is more. I don't know. Benny Montgomery. But it's a strong showing by that Bowman Blaster Box. Real happy with that, with that result. So... Top's update's going to have its uh, work cut out for it, but I can uh, I can definitely say that Heritage is out. All right, now the question is, will update beat the Bowman? Let's find out. Just a reminder, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and make sure that you hit that like button. Let me know which box you thought was the best value. Want to take a look at the odds? We'll show you the odds. Feel free to pause it, take a look. And here we go with our tops update blaster box. 99 total cards. We know we're going to get a manufactured relic. The question is, what else are we going to find in here? <coughs> Let me put my knife away. We're not going to need that again. And there's our pack. So let's get into it. We'll open up that manufactured relic first, since we know where it is. Now, I do like the manufactured relics that Topps put out with the helmets, but uh, not a terribly... I don't need that many of them, let's say that. There's uh, Seiya Suzuki, rookie card. Ryan El Tapia, 
Dan Vogelback, Francisco Morales, AJ Pollock. There's a rookie combos card. Bobby Witt. We'll just definitely sleeve that up. And we got a Derek Hill, blue parallel. Uh, nice Starling Marte, manufactured relic. It's a Mets relic, so I'll take that. And a Ronald Acuna Jr. 87 style. So, not a bad first pack. Not a bad first pack at all, really. And Bobby Witt will most likely make it. The other ones are questionable. All right. Next pack up. Let's see what else we can find in our update. Looking for J-Rods. There's Mackenzie Gore. Put that in our rookie stack. Looking for short prints, and I'd love to find a hit. Shane Boz, Tommy Pham, Steven Matz, Matt Brash, Jose Trevino. There's Seiya Suzuki's rookie debut card. Jake Walsh. Josh Staubmont and Zach Davies. So I'll pull all the rookies aside. Not sure if any of them are going to make my, my top ones yet. We will find out. Next pack up. Got Brandon Marsh as our stars of the MLB. All right. Danellis and Lament on top. Jacob Stallings, Hunter Green's a good one. Caleb Thielbar, Hunter Green. So we got his rookie and his rookie debut. Pretty cool. Tyler Naquin, Andrew Kinsner, Mackenzie Gore, Tyro Estrada. There's a rookie combos from Detroit, as well as the Padres. We have a George Springer all-star card flip upside down there. Throw all the rookies aside. All right, just four packs to go in this video. Let's see what we can find in our blaster box of tops here. We got a Julio Urias. What is going on here? I don't know what the hell. What the heck's going on? Simone Maziotti. Nick Plummer. Chris Bryant, Yusei Kikuchi, Reed Detmers, that's a rookie card. Connor Pilkington's rookie. We have an upside down Nick Allen, which is, I believe, a short print. It's going to be a short print. We have a Hunter Green Chrome. Stars of the MLB, which will probably make my top. And then we have a die cut, Ken Griffey Jr. Pretty cool card right there. Those die cut cards are a little annoying to get sleeved up, but pretty cool card nonetheless. So interesting pack there with a short print, that chrome hunter green. All right, next pack up. Three packs to go. This pack was snipped. That's interesting. I don't think it was sealed properly when they loaded it. Maybe that means there's something good in here. Who knows? Let's find out. We got Alec Thomas, stars of the MLB. Jose Miranda, that's a good one. Randall Gerchuk. Oh man, look at the bottom of this car of the cards. Ah, uh, hopefully it's nothing great. Jace Peterson, Jorge Soler, Ross Stripling, Hanser Alberto, and look at this! What a mess. That Joe Kelly got demolished. Thank goodness it wasn't a J-Rod or something, but you don't see that very often. Some quality control issues by tops. Also, only two rookies in that whole pack of update. 
All right, two packs to go. Let's hope we don't see that again. That was that was unfortunate. Royce Lewis going to be on the back. Taylor Walls. Royce Lewis on the huh, again. Albert Pujols tipping his cap to the crowd. We got a Bobby Witt Jr. base. Very nice. That will most likely make the top five. A Vissel Garcia. Johan Duran. McCutcheon. Robbie Cano. Anthony Bass. We have a George Kirby rookie card in a silver foil. Not going to be numbered, but still a cool card. Freddie Freeman, 87 style in his Dodgers uni. And Manny Machado, all-star. And that Royce Lewis. Which will bring us to our final pack of update. Hope everyone enjoyed the video and had a great Thanksgiving. Let's see what we could finish up with. One had some issues too, but I think it escaped. We got Ryan Mountcastle leading off this pack. Jose Miranda, rookie debut. Adam Halsey, Hasley, Luis Torrens, CJ Abrams, rookie debut is a good one. Kelvin Gutierrez, Brian Lavista, Lavistida. Gabriel Arias, Andre Palente, Sonny Gray, Cooper Hummel rookie, Seth Lugo, and we have a Vladdy Jr. 87 style, and that's a gray border, which is going to be numbered out of 299. So 107 out of 299. So we ended up getting a numbered card, which is nice. Now the question is, what are my top cards going to be to match up against Bowman? Um, it is a Vladdy. So I'm going to say that that's going to be number two ahead of the short print. Um, we're going to put... Put Bobby Witt. That's a tough call. I, I kind of want to say the Hunter Green Stars of MLB Chrome above the George Kirby Silver. It's kind of neg negligible. We'll go with the Hunter Green. Um, you could also argue the Bobby Witt Jr. rookie debut, but that's what we're going to go with. Um, the Vladdy's nice. Nice card, but I, I definitely have to give the nod, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's going to go to to Bowman. Can't deny that Aaron Judge card is going to be uh, is probably the best card of the video, followed closely by the Josiah. Uh, the Joshua Baez, and, and then the Vladdy. So that's what I'm going to say. Love to hear your opinion. Let me know what you think. But I am going to declare the Bowman Blaster as the winner of this Face-Off Friday. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and we will see you next time on Searching Friends with Eric. Take care, everybody.